I know I most certainly wasn't the only one that when you turned on Raw and they're pumping up this appearance by Bobby Lashley's sisters that we were going to be in for some very cringy television. I don't think anybody had a doubt about that. I'm pretty sure most everybody expected that and probably would have been ultimately disappointed if that wasn't exactly what we got. Well, oh God, WWE delivered and they delivered beyond expectations. Bobby Lashley's sisters. Bobby Lashley's sisters. Now, I'm not here to talk about it having to be men in drag or gender fluid or this or that or any of that other bullshit. That's not a topic of this video. I could question why the WWE feels like Whenever they feature black men, more often than not, they have to be dancing or suspect or any number of other things. But again, it comes down more to the fundamental issue at hand here. I brought it up a couple of weeks ago and I come back to it. What in the hell are they doing with Bobby Lashley? Just why? Why, 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 why? Six years ago, the company brings Brock Lesnar back to the WWE. And when they bring him back, what do they have him do? The Raw after WrestleMania, he comes out to close the show and he F5's John Cena. They bring back Lesnar, former world champion for them, former UFC world champion, former NCAA heavyweight wrestling champion, and they throw him against the top guy in the company immediately. Now you could sit there and talk about, well, he did go on to lose at Extreme Rules, and yes, he absolutely did. That was clearly sending a message of, you're back in our house, you're going to play by our rules, bitch. But, when they brought Lesnar back, he was the main event of the damn Raw after Mania 28, and he f 5 fucking Cena. Six years later, after being gone for almost a damn decade, or whatever the hell it was, they bring back Bobby Lashley, and he's doing inconsequential, meaningless shit. I'm not suggesting Bobby Lashley is all the way Brock Lesnar. I'm not saying that. But I am saying this is a dude that people can take seriously. This is a dude that's legit in the fighting world. This is a dude that is legit as a professional wrestler. And even if you don't want to recognize it, this is a guy that's been legit as a world champion elsewhere as a wrestler. So you decide the best way to bring him back is to put him in a bunch of meaningless crap designed to get him no reaction whatsoever? And then to try and compensate... You do an interview with him and Renee Young where he's talking about his sisters. So that way we can get this segment on Raw this week. Now excuse the F out of me. But perhaps the single most concerning thing about this is that they did this sit down interview with Lashley to try and present him in a different way where they went with the thing about the sisters meaning that this was planned for a couple of Frickin' weeks! They knew this was their ultimate destination. They knew this was the jump off point. They knew this is where they were getting to. This Bobby Lashley sister segment. This was the end game. This was the desired result. Does that concern anybody else? That the company was thinking about this for weeks and planning for it for weeks, which they clearly were and envisioning it for weeks. And along the way, nobody with any decision-making power within WWE stopped and said, Oh, hold on, wait a minute, this might be crappy to do. Eat shit, ain't in English. Nobody thought, hey, this has all types of cringe on it. And not even the good, somewhat redeeming cringe. This has... Bailey, this is your life, Claire Lynch type of cringe factor to it. Like for all the crap you could talk about, TNA, Impact Wrestling, whatever the hell they're called, they might have done stupid crap because they have a history throughout their history of doing stupid crap. But goddamn lo and behold, won't you know, they at least took Bobby Lashley seriously. 
They at least presented him like a badass. They at least presented him like he was a big deal. Like he was something meaningful, significant, consequential. A reason to actually tune in to that crappy federation. And the WWE decides, after bringing him back the night after WrestleMania, that the best way to ensure a great initial return on the Bobby Lashley investment was to have three dudes come out doing whatever the hell they were doing and pretended they were his sisters. You bring back Brock Lesnar, you send him at John Cena. You bring back Bobby Lashley, and you send him at Sammy fucking Zayn. Don't give me that, oh, you worked with Braun Strowman first when Braun went single, and how did Braun get over working with Roman Reigns, period? It's not even Sami Zayn's fault. Like, who the hell is going to get that crap over in the way it was designed to get over? Nobody! WWE, ding-dong, dumb dicks, I realize you're too busy counting your cash from USA and Fox to give a shit, but damn it all! It can't be that hard. I realize the initial returns on Lashley's return were not great. So you thought you had to shake it up creatively, do something different, and this is the flaming, steaming, stinking pile of diarrhea that you gave us all! But the real way to go about it is just give the dude something significant and meaningful that he can sink his teeth into. He is Bobby Lashley. People will naturally take him seriously. If you give them a reason to like him, they will like him. If you give him an opportunity and a pathway to get over in his return, then you know what? He will get over in his return. Not doing this crap where three dudes are dressed up as women so that way they can jump Bobby Lashley's. That's not the way to do it! God! It can't be that hard. It shouldn't be that hard. And most importantly of all, it's not that hard. But as the WWE has gotten this much money from their television deals, they've basically gotten fuck you money, they don't care. And in the process, what happens is guys that could make the company money like Bobby Lashley aren't going to. Because you put guys like Bobby Lashley in this type of spot, in this type of situation, how the hell do you expect them to succeed? God, it pisses me off. And I know as soon as this happened, and as soon as this segment occurred, that was a wrap for me watching Raw on Monday night. And I know I can't be the other, only one. This was trash. And what they're doing with Bobby Lashley is straight trash. And what they did with this segment on Monday night with Bobby Lashley's sisters was pure, unadulterated, hot, steaming, dumpster fire, Garbage!